Hello and welcome to yet another video of Tracking the Changes, a series of videos that helps you understand what's new, what's changing, what is being transformed across the digital domain and the real world, and how you can apply your understanding of these changes to your business and arguably your life. Today, I am going to start about something which you have been uh, emailing me about for some months now, and I haven't been quite sure how to start it. And basically, you've been asking me to clarify a little bit more about how the values of a business expressed through its activities are going to benefit it. Admittedly, this is a fairly hard topic because every business is going to have perhaps some different values. Those values arise from the culture around which the business finds itself in. So if you're based in North Carolina or Texas or New York or Berlin or London or you know anywhere across the world, you're going to have a slightly different approach, although perhaps we can argue that the fundamentals will remain the same. So the struggle I've been having is how to guide you through that in a way that is going to be consistent throughout for everybody. And I do have a solution, and the solution essentially is that you need to be transactional. Now the moment I say that, everybody thinks the same thing. They think money. So essentially every business is there to make money, and I agree with that. But that is not the essence of what a business actually does. This is what the, why the business needs to do certain things in order to exist, which is to make money in order to continue its survival. But that's not why the business should be there in the first instance. Because if money is the only reason, then we have to find a way to explain why this particular business, which you own, and not any other kind of business, which somebody else owns, which does a similar thing. So essentially trying to find that unique um, reason to exist is what leads us to the transactional nature of things. And what you need to identify here is what part of the transaction is unique to you, what is really important to you. And I'll give you an example. Suppose you're selling used cars, one of the hardest things to sell, and one that perhaps generates the most cynical um, response of most people who come across it. So essentially, if you're selling used cars, and obviously you want to sell cars, that is what you think you're there to do. But really what you're there to do in order to establish your dominion over a particular part of the market is to grow your market share. So essentially you want more and more people to come to you for used cars in order for you to continue to exist. So in order to establish that from each transaction, what do you need to actually get back? What do you need to give in order to get that? And you need to create, give the kind of service which generates loyalty. And loyalty would generate word of mouth, which would generate reputation, which would lead to trust, which would lead to more people coming to your particular used car dealership as opposed to anybody else's in order to do business with you. So really the, turn, the value of the transaction between you and a potential customer, what you are trying to, to get from that is loyalty. And that is what is important to you. So this is the example I'm giving you. You've got to think in any transactional in every transactional activity that your business does. What is the real value of that transaction? What is it you're actually trying to get? That will also define what you're willing to give in response in order to get that. And if you can clarify that in every instance, well there, that's your, the values of your business, which really determine your activity. And if you can really clarify that chain of thinking and acting, then you also have managed to better connect with your audience and become um, sort of closer to them so they're more receptive to your marketing message and what your business does. In other words, that's how your audience becomes your audience. As usual, I'm going to have a few more links in the description box below explaining this in greater depth. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Keep the questions coming in. I really hope this helps. Have a great day. Take care out there.